welcome to Brighton Buzz. I'm Rania. And I'm Eva, your interviewer for today. So Rania, tell me what has happened in Brighton in the last few weeks. Well, a lot of exciting things have happened at Brighton since the last news broadcast. To begin with, I heard that grade 3A students had an interesting group project about things around us for their science class where they had to cut up photos and divide them into categories. Grade 6B students also had a group project where they had to build irrigation system from various materials that they could find at home. On the other hand, Grade 5B students had fun making comedy and tragedy themed ancient Greek masks for their social studies class as well. Oh, those sound fun. I wish I was in primary again. By the way, did you smell something yummy last week? I think it was coming from the economics room. Oh, it was the Master Chef Club. They made fried rice and local Malaysian juice. Ah, uh, that explains the smell. Now, let's take a look at some pictures from last week's social clubs for both primary and secondary. What else is new at Brighton recently? I heard some people went for a competition. Oh yes, that's true. For starters, the girls' netball competition took place on the 20th of September. Our secondary girls had a friendly match with the SMK Wong Sum Lawati team. They had been training for it for a while and they did very well and all of us from Brighton are proud of them. Yes, congratulations to all the girls. We're looking forward to the next competition. Could you update us on the school schedule? Yes, I'd love to. We had our quizzes last week and the midterms are currently ongoing. All secondary students are sitting for their midterms this week and we wish them the best of luck. We encourage all students to indulge in self-study when possible to continue aiming for success. Now, enough with all the serious events. Tell us something exciting to get the students pumped up. Oh, I'm glad you asked. The school organized language day last Friday, 23rd September. The committee teachers prepared numerous fun activities for all the grades and all students had fun decorating the tote bags and pencil cases that they were given. Oh yeah, language day was very fun. I can't wait for next year. I agree. On that note, Malaysia Day was on the 16th of September. Do you remember what we did? Of course I do. Secondary grades had to take a quiz on the general knowledge of Malaysia. And on language day, the winners of the competition were announced and received prizes from the school. On the 27th of September, all business students from upper secondary attended tomorrow's Young Business Leaders competition held at Taylor's Lakeside campus last week. And one of the groups from Brighton made it to the top five. They also became the champion of the competition and won a thousand ringgit as a prize. It is truly an amazing victory. Congratulations to all the winning students and of course, the teachers who trained and guided them. Well, that's all we have for today. We will be coming back with more updates in the next videos. Till next, next time. time, bye! bye. Thank you.